Oh, Daisy, we're coming. We're coming, Daisy. Don't worry. I don't know who's coming. Uh, Daisy's unconscious. We know that. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Embark, where we are coming off a very exciting last part of Embark. We met many monkeys. Many, many monkeys came to visit us, and then we were attacked by flies, but everyone is still here. We chatted to the monkeys, we gave them some gifts, and they walked away without murdering us. And when the flies came, we very slowly and very badly managed to fight them off. So we defeated the flies that came by. We very, very slowly punched them to death because we don't have any weapons, but we got it. We got it done. Nobody was seriously injured. There were a few cuts and scrapes, but everyone's kind of healing those off right now. And we finally built a bed for Melvin. Melvin, your bed is finally here. Melvin, you now have somewhere to sleep. There you go. Everybody has got a, a bed. Oh, another research artifact. Excellent. We got one of those the last time, and it was like a diamond research artifact. I, we're nowhere near diamonds, but it sounds really good. What I'd like to do today is try and consolidate some of our crafting, because our crafting, our carpentry is happening way over here. Way, way over here. And then we've got to walk all the way back here to put anything down. So I'm going to try and fidget with what was our sort of gateway, our opening area here. And I'd like to see if I can turn this more into a real room. I would like a wall. Yes, a wooden wall, please, not soil. I'd like that at a depth of two. And I'm just going to kind of fidget with this a little bit. I'm going to draw this out to here and then maybe over to here like that. And then I need, like, well, hang on, I need a door of some sort. So let's leave space for a door there. And then we'll go over here, like this. Okay, and then when they're done with that, I'm going to try and put a roof on this thing. I have no idea how that's going to go. I think I'm going to have to do it in very, very small stages. So, for instance, if I drop this down to one, and then build up one and then build across the whole thing somewhat slowly because they'll probably do things in a very weird order and they'll get stuck because they can't reach something. But you know what, guys? Just get started with that. Now that you're all well rested because you have a nice bed for everybody, get started with that. And then I'm going to try and figure the rest out later. In the meantime, I'm going to add another carpenter's workshop. Maybe a crafter's one too. Crafter gets needs planks yeah i'm gonna make this area down here as best as i can into a little workshop area and then i'm gonna add another carpentry table over here and then what i'd like to do is put a new stockpile kind of right out the front door maybe down in here that's just raw wood Oh, that's nice. Melvin and Ella are friends now. Good, I'm glad you kids are getting along. I would like this to be, yeah, wood. Just wood. That's all I'd like to see down here. And I would like this to be a very, very high priority. They'll ignore basic needs to perform the job. Oh, that's a little high. Uh, no, you know what? Just normal. Normal is fine. Okay, so let's just get wood living in here. So kind of like that. Hopefully that's going to do what I want it to do. The raw resources will be right here, and then they can just nip right inside and do some crafting. And we are indeed butchering the flies that we killed the last time. Yeah, Ella just hauled them over there. There's one of them right down in there. Yeah, you tried it. It didn't work out for you. You tried it, though. All right, so we're going we're gonna to have flies for dinner, which is less appetizing than I would like it to be. However, we did do that bookshelf. That means Ella can get back on research. What's going on here? Yeah, they're friends. I I, I know that bit. Thank you. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, let's get back to research. Well, I was going to go down masonry, but now that the flies are showing up, maybe we should go down basic weapons. I think that's smart. Let's do that. Uh, let's get some very, very, we'll probably just get spears or something like that. And could we possibly finish off the other bookshelf, please? Let's make that very, very high priority, please. All right, I've got them working on sort of a, a 
ceiling area is my idea here. And as I thought, they're kind of doing it in a weird order, but let's see if I can make this happen. I would like to get more walls like that. And then I'm going to slowly close this room in, giving it what I assume would be a roof of some sort. Get them going on this. We seem to have plenty of wall sections made right now. They don't seem to have any problem getting that part done. I'd like to see them moving on literally everything else, but there are only five of them. There's only so much they can do. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, man. Exactly. You're building a ceiling on top of this. Excellent. All right, we finished the basics of weaponsmithing, but I bet we don't have that other bookcase built yet, do we? No, we absolutely don't. Okay. We need, uh, need some more planks kicking along, guys. I know we're trying to move all the production-y things somewhere else, but where are we kind of at with that? Are we making... Are we, we are making them, right? Yeah, we have two orders. We're trying to keep 20 planks in stock. We're still trying to work through all those wooden wall sections. I did ask for a lot of wooden wall sections. All right. And Jamil is making small talk, but Travis is annoyed by it. Yeah, nobody likes small talk, Jamil. Just say what you mean. Yeah, they've gotten a little befuddled by this one. Kind of thought that might happen. All right, could we... Here's what I'm going to do for you guys. We're going to dig out this bit, and then we'll put it back later. Oh, no, you already figured it out. No, no, okay, we can stop digging. All right, never mind. I'll fill it in in a sec. Uh, hang on, hang on. More monkeys have shown up. More monkeys are here. Okay, um, yes, we know from the last one, April, Ace Diplomat. She talked to so many monkeys and got them on our side. Let's see if we've got anything to give them. Uh-oh, these ones have wolves. Monkeys with wolves, that can't be good. Um, I've got some shoddy fly meat. Would you like that? I've got a fair bit of it, too. I'm not giving you my research. Decent diamond research artifact. That just seems so handy. Do I have anything you guys might like? I have some poor cotton. I mean, I might have some shoddy tomatoes. I've got a lot of shoddy tomatoes. I've got a shoddy bone. Probably got that from one of the flies. I don't... I'm not sure actually flies have bones. Maybe it's from that bird we killed. Anyway, I've got that. Uh, I've got some co a quality cotton seed. Oh, you guys can have that then. The monkeys were wicked into cotton the last time. Oh no! April had a bad talk with them. April, be better at things. Give them nice cotton. Hey, April, how's the diplomacy going? Okay, we received a gift. That took the edge off the bad talk thing there. All right, the Stone Ash Clan. We seem to be surrounded by monkeys. Oh no, another bad talk. April, you were so much better with the last monkeys. These monkeys have halberds and wolves. Let's really not annoy them, despite how tiny and adorable they are. Okay, they left. They left. That's that's promising. How do they... They're actually friendly with us. All right. Well, it couldn't have been that bad a talk. They're friendly. Master Forestkin friendly. First Sisters Horde unfriendly, but not actively trying to kill us. All right. Lots of monkeys around here. Lots of very, very tiny, well-armed monkeys live in our neighborhood. Yeah, I'm going to set this bookcase to highest possible priority because it's just one plank shy of being able to get some research done around here. With the amount of monkeys we're experiencing, I think we need to get the weapon thing going sooner rather than later. I think that's a promising start. Are we, um, we're not really doing anything with the, uh, the stockpile over here. I did see there was a couple of logs brought in. What we really need to do... Let's get the new crafting stations open because now they're bringing wood over here and then hauling it way over here to make something out of it. Yeah, this is horribly inefficient. It's my colony. Nobody is surprised by that, but I'm, I'm trying to make it a little more um, consolidated, if you will. Okay, we finally got the bookshelf done. So let's go to basic weapons will give me a spear. I just think that's smart. I really do want masonry, though. I'd really like to see that happening. Uh, if we get another... If we get another attack, what's going to happen? What do I want right at this exact second? The answer is kind of masonry, but basic weapons. Stick to the plan here. Basic weapons. April, figure out how pointy sticks per work, please, and then let me know when you're done. And in the meantime, could we get going on my ceiling, please? Well, they did finish off my new carpentry bench over here, so really my good plan would be to go over and demolish the other one. Yeah, this carpentry bench right here, go ahead and demolish that. 
we'll just keep everything over here. That seems much more sensible than having to walk all the way over there. Wow, the cotton trees are really doing well. Cotton trees, cotton bushes, or whatever it is, we've got a bunch of it. Food is, again, surprisingly under control. We've got a lot of, well, tomatoes and forest mushrooms. We've got some potatoes kicking around. How many, did we get any more potato seeds? While I'm thinking about seeds, let's make sure that we're not storing dirt here. I would like to take off, let me see here, where, where is just dirt? Uh, yeah, don't have natural rocks. Don't have soil. You already don't have soil. Maybe I should take off natural rocks as well. Make a special place for that. Oh, but you can have medical stuff in here. You can absolutely put that there. Uh, oh, hi, there's an argument. Jamil had a big argument with April. Ah, they're either going to hate each other. I got to give them the day off. Yeah, give them the day off. I can't afford to have... Oh, wow, nobody's working today. <laughs> okay, nobody's working today. Never mind about the stockpiles then. I guess we're not doing anything with that today. And while nobody's getting anything done, I may as well get some more bookcases queued up at least. Because we're going to need them eventually, so we may as well get it done. You can have, uh, you can have a, oh, hi, Jamil and Melvin are friends now. Okay, neat. Great, good. Um, I'm going to put a couple of bookcases down in there. We're going to need them eventually. Love them to finish off my ceiling, although, again, I've got so many things for them to be doing right now. I'm not surprised we're not getting much done. Did we demo the other carpentry bench? Yes, we did. Okay. But now Jamil and Ella are rivals. Why do I suspect that this colony is going to go down because they all just end up murdering each other? They just don't seem to get along very well. <sighs> Probably should have spent more time picking my colonists, but hey, it's my channel. We all know how that's going to go. All right, well, April raced through basic weapons. I don't think we can start anything else. No, we have no available bookshelves, although we've got a couple queued up. They'll work on that when they get a chance. Why don't I make one of these a little bit higher priority? Heck, Dave, you're going to be doing a lot of research. Why don't you make both of them a little bit higher priority? That's a whole bunch of higher priority things I've got. I've got them... Working on the crafting station is high priority. I've got a wall section up. Everything is high priority right now. So basically, it's all the same priority. Oh, oh, exciting things. Exciting things. We found another survivor. Okay, hang on. Everybody pause. It is pause. Great. Daisy. Ah, uh, yeah. Rescue Daisy. Absolutely rescue Daisy. Yes. Do that immediately. That takes priority over literally everything else we're doing. Oh, Daisy. We're coming. We're coming, Daisy. Don't worry. I don't know who's coming. Uh, Daisy's unconscious. We know that. Is anyone... Uh... Ah, there we go. Jamil's on the case. Okay. How far away is Daisy? Oh, not very far at all. She's right there. You almost made it, Daisy. You were almost there. Yeah, we definitely want to rescue that colonist. What do I do with her? How do, how do I... You, you're going to need like a sick bed or something, right? Um, Melvin, bad news, man. We might have to give up your bed depending on what Jamil does with Daisy, and I actually don't know the answer to that question. Once again, I've never gotten that far in Embark. Last time I played this, everyone was dead within a couple of days. Now we're actually getting things done. Um, Jamil, you're just sort of... Could, could you not maybe pick her up, Jamil? That You're just dragging her along the ground. That is... That's, you're not understanding how rescue works. All right, what basically is your plan here, Jamil? What are you going to do with Daisy? I'm very curious, actually. You're kind of dragging her in here, and then what's your move? Are you going to put her in a bed? What What are you doing with her? You're putting her... You are going to put her in a bed. I think you're putting her in your bed, actually. Are you healing her? You're treating the patient. Oh, very good. Excellent. I'm really pleased about that, Jamil. Uh, Daisy, what are your what are your health issues right now? You're being po oh, you had frostbite. You're being poorly treated. Okay, but you're being treated. We're not very good at being a doctor, but we're in there. Can I assign? Is there like something where I can assign something as a medical bed, like say other colony builders? A uh, normal bed, hospital bed. Oh, that worked out just fine. Great. Um. We've got a hospital now. Melvin has no bed. 
Melvin, I'm going to work on that. You don't even worry about that, man. I got that part covered. Um, but wow, Daisy joined. Excellent. Um, let's get Melvin a new bedroom because he's probably wicked sad right now. Now, I don't think they're going to move Daisy over to the hospital bed. I think she's sort of stuck there. Maybe they will. I don't know. Jamil is definitely not on it. Jamil's in bed. Travis is in bed. Ella's chatting with people and April's in bed. Melvin's the only one actually getting anything done around here. He's hauling planks to stuff. Uh, speaking of planks, oh good, we're almost done with my ceiling. Good, so once again, depth of one, wooden wall. Just kind of want to finish this out. There we go. Actually, while I'm here, while I'm here, I might build a staircase. So I can do that. I have, I have the capacity to do that. I bet that's something I have to build though, isn't it? Show me a living area. Wooden stairs is... Oh, it's just a log. It's literally just a log. Oh, we should be fine with that then. Uh, could you put that, please? How are we going to make this go? I'd like it to be here, but I can't do that. So I need down here, but one over, and then two over, like that. And then I could go up one. Is that not going to line up? Are you kidding me? No, I want that to line up, otherwise nothing works here. I'll see what happens when they build the first one. I can figure it out from there. Oh, Daisy's already up and about. Daisy's already doing things. Well, Daisy, let's uh let's kinda check you out. What do you uh let's slow it down here. Slow it down. You're you're moving very fast for me there, Daisy. Alright. So you're actually not doing that bad. You had the frostbite, you're kinda shaking it off, but you're at like ninety-eight percent. You're totally fine. Uh what are your uh what are you into? You're barely inspiring. Is that what you want to lead with on your resume? You're barely inspiring. You're slightly unresourceful, but you're slightly confident. Okay, and your stats are just kind of meh. You're not extraordinary at anything, but you're not terrible at everything at anything either. Neat. Well, Daisy, let's get you uh, let's get you working here. Everybody does mining, Daisy. It's kind of my thing. Uh, are you any good? No, you're not good at masonry. You're not going to be good at wood cutting, although everyone kind of does that because we need it to get done when it needs to get done. Not so much with carpentering. You are a very good crafter, though. You are going to be higher on crafting. In fact, you're going to be my crafter. Yeah, you're quite good at that. And you're actually not bad at cooking. I'm going to give you a three in that. Um, you, you will be excellent in hunting when we actually have any ranged weapons, which we don't. But when we do... You're going to be a very good hunter, along with April. Yeah, I'm going to... We don't have the capacity to go hunting, but I'm going to get that started. Just so I don't forget to do it later, because I will. Are you any good at doctoring? Actually, not bad. I'm going to put you at a 5 on doctoring. No, I'm going to put you at a 6. If something needs doctoring, get on it. Like, immediately. I don't really need that hospital bed anymore. However, that could be Daisy's bed. Uh, herbalist, yeah, you're fair at that. You're darn good at hauling. Great. Why don't you be a little higher in hauling? Researcher, eh, you're okay. Uh, hospital bed. You do not need to be a hospital bed anymore. You can be a normal bed, and you can... I'm here. I, I want to say, who, no, not a hospital bed. A normal bed. No, not a hospital bed. Normal bed for uh, Daisy. There we go. Okay. Speaking of which, we already dug out the new one for Melvin. Sorry about this, Melvin. Uh, it's just, you know, very exciting when a new colonist shows up. So I will build you a bed right there. And that's about it, really. We'll work on some walls, depending on whether or not they finished my ceiling over here. They have. Great. Okay, so that worked out. A little bit of a slow process to make sure they didn't build it in a weird order. I kind of filled it in as they went along. But the job got done. We should add a door here as well. Let's get a door going right. Uh, not there, because that's not the way doors work. Right there, there, there. Okay. Daisy, already a valuable member of the colony. Right into the crafting, doing some carpentry, getting stuff done. Daisy, I got a good feeling about you. Is that a, is that a pickaxe? Why do we have three pickaxes? Did somebody give that to us? When did we get three pickaxes? We, why are those? Daisy, did you bring those? Jamil, can I, can I get you to no? Stop, stop, stop it, Jamil. Can I get you to um, have a thing? I'd like you to have. How do I make you have that? 
kind of forget that. Oh, I don't think we can yet because they're not technically in a stockpile. So even though they're literally right there on the ground, we can't access them. But that seems to be about the way to do that. They get put in a stockpile and then I can assign them to somebody. No idea where we got three pickaxes from. But they, they exist. I'm totally happy to have them. Maybe one of the monkeys left them. Yeah, the stairs are coming along, so I put the first one there, and then I've been putting wall sections underneath it. It will get to the top. Oh, April has gotten into an argument with Ella. Oh, you guys. Really? All right, take the day off. Yep, I know. Nobody's working today. Thank God Daisy's here. All right, we've got finally the crafting station up. Wow, it's about time. What can I do in here? All sorts of things. All sorts of things. Paper? A hoe? A spear? Pick a hatchet. What does it take to make a spear? Bones. Ooh. Yeah, I don't have like a million of those. Let's try two. I uh, know two, not 11. That's different than two. Two as a one time order. Yeah, give me. Do I just not have the bones for it? No, I don't. I don't at all. We've, I think we've only got like one or two. How about a pick? Nothing I can do with that. There's no way I can change this handle, is there? Okay, we're going to be a little limited here. Okay, I see what we're doing here. So, I need a handle and a spear point. I can make the handle out of wooden poles. And I can make wooden poles. Okay, take that off. Hang on. I don't, it's, it's, it's irrelevant. I don't have a spear point because I don't have stone blocks or metal ingots. Okay, uh, what could we do maybe with a hatchet? Stone block or a metal ingot? I should have gone down masonry. This is largely irrelevant to me. Is there anything I can make? I can make a compacted dirt wall. I mean, I could. No reason not to. What about paper? Oh, I have plant fiber. I got plenty of that. I don't really feel I need paper right now. Okay, well, that's going to sit there and do nothing at all for a little while. But the stairs are coming along, so we got that working out for us. Uh... Ella's pregnant. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, look, forget the wall. Dave, forget the wall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ella, Ella's pregnant. I, Ella, could, could you come here? Could we talk about what's going on with you right now? Oh, we put the hatchet somewhere. Oh, no, that's your hatchet. Can I add? Did we figure out the picks yet? No, we haven't. Um, Ella, Ella, let's talk about the, um, you know, the pregnancy thing that's going on all right you're not it's not showing up in your health uh, i i had no understanding that children were a thing in embark so that's gonna happen i would assume in about nine game months somewhere around there depending on when ella figured that out i i can't handle basic crafting at this point but you're asking me to take care of an infant are you insane embark Alrighty, well that's a really good spot to call it on embark for today ella's pregnant uh daisy's here and ella's pregnant uh travis i'm looking in your direction i better be looking in your direction travis melvin don't make me look in your direction yeah, uh, Daisy showed up and Ella's pregnant. Super. So um, we will pick up some more of Embark again next time. Do, again, please keep the comments coming in, uh, especially about Ella's expectancy. And uh, hey, if you are if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. This isn't personal, actually. I, I don't know any of you. Um, I'm Space Commander Awesome, and uh, I'm having a weird kind of day here. Were you playing with a dead guy's zither? That, that sounded so much better in my head than when it came out of my mouth.